Here's another question from one of our viewers. They wanted to know what the smallest sized angled landing you could build. They were going to build a stairway and uh, they said what would uh, the smallest size be? They didn't have a lot of room and this is actually it. This isn't going to be considered a landing. It's going to be considered a step by most building authorities. However, you will actually need to check with your local building department to verify the information in this video. So I have done this before with a 45 degree angle. I have not done this with a 30 or a 60 degree angle, which I will provide you with examples in this video. So the secret to this right here is it's going to be a winder. This needs to be six inches minimum size. Um, but you'll need to check with your local building authorities on that one. Six inches for a winder is the minimum. And then we also have a 12 inch walk line. If we were to be parallel to the wall, parallel to the stairway, and we came in 12 inches, we need to have the same minimum distance. It can be larger. It just can't be smaller than the step that we're using here. 10 inches for residential, the depth, 11 inches for public stairways, that's common. So I think here we have almost 14 inches when I checked it. So plenty of room on this one. Something like this should work just fine. Now here's one with a 45 degree angle, same situation. The, the uh, landing or the step is going to be a little larger. Six inches again for the minimum. And here you can see where the walk line is uh, plenty of room there. So again, the key here is whether or not your building department is actually going to accept this as a step and not a landing. If it's a landing, it's going to have to be larger. The stairway is going to have to be redesigned to fit accordingly. Now, I wanted to bring something else to your attention. A lot of times uh, people want to just kind of come up here and connect the dots. They want to, uh, you know, just go right from here to here. And that's not going to happen. You've got to have the minimum width all the way through the stairway. And if I just connected these lines here, I'm not even going to have a three foot. And what am I? I'm at two foot nine, basically. Not going to make the building inspector happy. Instead, you're going to have to do something like this. You're going to have to have the line go straight and straight like we did on the other stairways. The inside line might not uh, matter. You might be able to angle that and just keep the minimum. That's not going to be a big deal. But for something like this, probably not going to work um, very good for you. And again, you got to check all this stuff. You're going to be double checking it when you draw the plans. And hopefully, if you take it down to your building department, they will also check it to verify. The biggest problem you're going to run into as a builder is having, um, you know, you draw something, an architect draws something, an engineer. And then you run it through the city or the county or the state, whatever you're dealing with, and the, everybody approves it. And then the building inspector comes out and catches it. That's just that's a nightmare of a situation. So do your research. You know, the information I'm sharing with you in this video, like I said, and I can't stress it enough, you need to verify it. Verify it. You know, if you go down to the city and the guy says, yeah, you're not going to have a problem with this at all and you think you're free and clear, you better get something in writing. If you have a written letter from them, say, you know, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on this. Could you, you know, put that? And then if you say, no, once we stamp the plans, you're good to go. Uh, you're, in, you're living in fantasy land there. And for any of you uh, carpenters or contractors out there who have stories, feel free to share them with us in the comment area uh, because I have plenty of them. I have plenty of stories where I didn't get something in writing and ended up paying the price um, at the end. So uh, not not a good uh, uh, situation to be in. And I don't know if I mentioned it, this is a this is a 60 degree angle here. And of course, at a 90 degree angle, this is going to be considered a landing. No way around it. You're going to have to have the minimum measurements again, which is the width of the stairway, three foot at minimum, whatever the width of the stairway is, they would like to have that here, which of course you would. If this is three foot two and this is three foot two, then the landing is going to be three foot two all the way across the board. So common L-shaped stairway design here. 
Last up on the list will be the U-shaped stairs or a 180 degree turn. And again, the same situation, minimum width or depth on the landing to make everybody happy. So again, this is not going to be considered a step. This is a landing. So hope this information helps. If you are going to build a set of stairs, I can't say it enough. Check with your local building department. I don't care whose video you watch on YouTube. You've got to verify this information. And uh, in, in reality, you got to hope that the people at the building department are competent enough, competent enough to um, actually provide you with correct information also.